the ant room. It's always been my sanctuary of tiny wonders, a place where I go to witness these complex societies literally unfold before my very eyes. But lately, it's transformed into a stage for some pretty stark contrasts. A miniature world mirroring life's own incredible highs and devastating lows. We've suffered a major loss, a royal departure, that struck one of our most beloved colonies to its core. And the hardest part is knowing I might have been able to prevent it. Yet even as we navigate that wave of sadness, new life is stirring, bringing with it a fresh surge of hope and the thrilling promise of new adventures. Welcome to Adrian's Antics. So let's dive right in, shall we? This is my colony of pavement ants, also known as Tetramorium caespidum. They have a reputation for being a small yet fast growing species. Despite this, though, I didn't really believe it until I saw it. This is them a couple months ago. Look at them struggling to eat that little piece of mealworm. I just love watching ants do their thing. But anyways, this is what they've become. Numbering over 400 individuals, the colony has really thrived within the past year. Their growth is now unstoppable. These ants are a rising force within the ant room. They will eventually rise to become one of the greatest empires ever seen, with soldiers numbering in the millions and thousands of troops ready to defend the queen at a moment's notice, with their voracious appetites propelling them forwards, and their aggressive nature defending from any onslaught. These ants have the potential for greatness. So clearly, these ants are doing pretty well. But the same can't be said about my other colonies. For with all the good news comes bad news. And it is time for me to deliver. This is my chromatogaster colony. Those of you who have been with the channel since the beginning may remember them. They are the fast-growing ants that we've known and loved. And while they haven't been with us for long, 
they've had quite the story. Starting from humble beginnings and just a lone queen, this colony was well on their way to be one of the most amazing empires I've ever seen. But alas, it was not meant to be. She was doing so well too. The colony at their peak had reached a grand total of 21 workers. I just wish I had filmed them more at the time. I always thought I had more time with them, but you're all probably wondering how I could have prevented their death. And really, it happened as a foolish mistake of me breaking one of the first rules of ant keeping. First though, I'm gonna have to set the stage for you. It had been a few weeks and this colony hadn't eaten. I had run out of mealworms and was only feeding them sugar water at this point. So I had to find an alternate source of protein fast. That day, I stumbled upon a little potato bug outside. It hadn't even occurred to me that it could have any number of diseases or pesticides. Unfortunately for me, the ants loved it. They devoured the whole thing in a matter of minutes. This would be their last meal. This is what the colony looked like the next day. I tried giving them some mealworm to appease them, but the workers had become angry and very, very defensive. Now a biological clock was ticking, with no new queen replacing the dying workers, eventually the colony would shrink and fade. Just as with the toils of life, we live, we learn, we adapt, we improve. And in this corner of the ant room, a new empire is stirring, building up their forces and preparing for utter domination. Thanks for watching and subscribe to find out what happens next. Or check out my other videos. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.